Welcome to Mystic Realms Recap. Please like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy today's episode. Ye by Drove Temple, two to the predetermined coordinates of the moon soon. That is, the sky above the area where human settlements are built. With the joint efforts of more than 100,000 people in 10 countries, the human settlements on the moon are also on a large scale. Now they have completely separated from the Wanfing space carrier and live in the built residential area on the moon. Look, that's our human settlement. It has expanded to such a large size. I believe it will not be long before the living conditions for millions of people can be fulfilled. The location where millions of people live should be completed soon, but the lack of water here is a problem. It needs to be transported back and forth by Kuenpeng transport ships. Although a lot can be transported at a time, and the speed is fast, it is not a long-term solution after all. If the moon can find groundwater, it may be much better. There are glaciers at the poles of Mars, and there is groundwater. Relatively speaking, Mars is actually more suitable for living. I believe academician Ye's plan, he must have a plan, and this place is going to be transformed into a weapon, so it is not so much a place of residence as it is a construction site where balls will be transformed in the early stage. Everyone nodded upon hearing this. Although they were worried about living here, they trusted Yi Bai very much. Yi Bai must have his reasons for choosing to build here. Everyone looked at the surface of the moon, which already occupied a large part of the residential area. In the light yellow proton energy shields, everyone is busy. Actually, in the life support system of the Wanfing Aerospace Carrier, there is a device that can produce water. That is to say, water can be produced on the moon, and there is water on the moon. Yibai looked at the habitation on the surface of the moon with a smile. There is water on the moon. A long time ago, in the analysis of the soil brought back by humans from the moon, it was found that there was water on the moon, but they did not find water on the surface of the moon. In the life support system of the Wanfing Aerospace Carrier, it can extract hydrogen and oxygen from the air to synthesize water. Although there is no oxygen on the surface of the moon, it also has an atmosphere, and the air is rich in hydrogen. The Luanfing Aerospace Carrier has a special device for generating heave, so synthesizing water is very simple. This is also the basis for the Luanfing Aerospace Carrier to be able to cruise in the air all the time. In the lunar human settlements, there are such devices, so there is no shortage of water. It turns out that there is such a device in the Luanfing Space Carrier, it's too powerful. Yes, this kind of synthesis requires powerful energy, and it can only be realized with a controllable nuclear fusion energy device. They didn't know the specific configuration of the Luanfing space carrier, and after Yibai popularized it, they were all shocked. It turns out that the biggest problem of human habitation on the moon is not the problem of water and food. In other words, as long as the atmospheric modification can be solved, and the moon has a thick enough atmosphere, then humans can completely survive on the moon. Yeah. It would be great if we could modify the atmosphere and planetary environment. Human beings all have space dreams and want to have more homes in space. Otherwise, there would not be so many space exploration programs. Yibai smiled slightly. At this time, people who were busy in the lunar habitat also saw the space battleship sanctuary too. Hold the grass. This is too big. It's much bigger than the Luanfing Sky Mothership. Their construction is complete. This is the Temple 2 spaceship, it's too strong. Everyone looked up at the sky, the huge space battleship. They originally thought that the Luanfing Sky Carrier was already very big, and when they looked up at the bottom of the Luanfing Sky Carrier, they felt that they were ants. But now seeing the space battleship number 2 of the temple, everyone sighs that this is the real behemoth. Eroer looked up, although she couldn't see Yibai, she knew she must be there. Yibai also looked at her. Although he couldn't see her, but he knew she was there. Let's test the curvature engine again. There is no problem with the flying ability. Now test the curvature engine. Crimson, locate the position of star card. Positioning complete. Switch to curvature engine. The curvature engine is switching. The switching is complete. Turn on stealth mode. Okay. Activate the proton energy shield. Yibai added the protection of the proton energy shield to the original solid alloy surface of Temple Number 2, increasing its defense ability. The stealth mode is activated, and the proton energy shield is activated. 
I saw a light yellow energy shield rising from the surface of Temple Number 2. It is a complete stealth mode that combines mimic stealth and radar stealth. Stealth. Lock coordinates. Open space jump. The space jump is ready to complete. All the researchers in the cab were dumbfounded as they watched the space in front of the battleship Temple 2 distort. Sika Star is located in the Trappist, one star field 45 light years away from the Blue Star, in the constellation Aquarius. This star field was once considered by Blue Star scientists to have habitable planets. I didn't expect civilization to really exist. Yibai relied on Crimson to calculate its distance is 45 light years based on the trajectory, speed, wear and tear of the meteorite shell, and its direction is the Trappist, one star field. 45 light years is pretty close for a curvature engine. Everyone looked at the space distortion in front of Temple Number 2 in horror. That's the entrance to the folding space. Is this the space jump? Haha, ha, I will witness the first space jump in human history. That's right, this is the first real interstellar travel in human history. We are really going to the deep space of the universe not between the blue star and the moon. It's unbelievable, haha. -ha. I must commemorate this moment. I'm afraid this is the last time in my life that I will sail in the universe on the spacecraft I built. 143, everyone took out their mobile phones to take pictures, and the scientific researchers of Yinhuang State directly used the capsule phone to record. In the history of mankind, mankind has always been able to go back and forth between the moon and the blue star. And the only countries that can even land on the moon are Yinhuang, Ingjiang, and Maoxiong. There are only three in the entire blue star. No other country has ever landed on the moon, let alone undertake any space travel. But now, under the leadership of Yibai, they are about to make the first space jump in human history, which is a real interstellar travel. Enter the folding space in three seconds. Three, two, one. Temple number two accelerated instantly, rushed into the distorted space, and then disappeared without a trace. People in the lunar habitat only see a piece of space distortion. Because temple number two turned on the stealth mode in advance, they didn't see the bottle of temple number two. But it can be guessed that it is the space jump technology. In the cab of temple number two, everyone is looking at the folding space outside. Everyone is envious but they believe that soon they too will be able to travel to the stars. Incredible, incredible. This is folding space? It's so beautiful. Is this the depths of the universe? I saw outside temple number two, as if the entire universe was folded together. Countless planets are very close, yet very far away. Here they can see all kinds of planets. The planet in front seems to be spreading out continuously, Temple 2 is rushing forward at a very high speed. The folding space created by the curvature engine is to fold the straight line between two distant points in the universe, thus shortening the distance between these two points. And the space scenery between these two points will pass quickly in the folding space. This is the first time the researchers on Blue Star have seen such a situation. Completely unfamiliar, completely unimaginable scene. Yibai also saw it for the first time and he was also curious to freeze everything in the space. If it is the Singularity, CCDJ, engine on Sanctuary, it can directly open the gate of time and space, there will be no folding space, and the speed will be faster. The Singularity engine is similar to the teleportation array. Open a Singularity channel between two points, and then transmit Sanctuary Chang there. Similar to the synchronization between quantum entanglement, Instant arrival is space teleportation, not jumping. Although the curvature engine can jump in space, the folding space theoretically folds the distance between two points, but there is still a distance. Just like a person jumping from one place to another, even if the intermediate distance is compressed, it still takes time. The distance needs to be pushed by the plasma engine on the temple too. The curvature engine is the key to open the folding space. After about an hour, people didn't dare to look outside anymore. Because in this space, there is enough distance for the plasma engine to continuously accelerate. Although it can't reach the speed of light, the speed will get faster and faster. Without the injection of super soldier serum, it would be difficult for the brain to process and receive information observed by the eyes at such a high speed. 
If you look at it for a long time, you will experience symptoms such as vomiting. Yibai is fine. He can even look for other planets with civilizations from the planets passing by at a high speed. There are also living quarters on Temple 2 where people can live. Lots of people have left the cab to visit on Temple 2. Two days later, everyone saw that the time was around 8 o'clock in the morning on the Blue Star. The same distorted space appeared in front of Temple Number 2. Arrive? So fast. Twisting out from that space, is it Star Sika? Everyone looked at the distorted space in front of them in disbelief. Two days. 45 light years. It took 45 years to travel at the speed of light, and now they arrived in just two days. Countless times faster than light. It is indeed a curvature engine. No loss is the folding space. After folding the space and traveling in the universe, the speed can be so fast. Temple number two rushed into the space distortion and everyone came to a strange airspace in an instant. The overall environment here is even darker. Temple number two stopped instantly after flying out of the folding space. Everyone felt a little weightlessness for the first time, but it disappeared quickly. The Trappist, one star field where Star Card is located has arrived. People who visited various places on Temple number two all walked to the windows and looked at this strange star field. The Trappist, one star field where Sika is located is a red dwarf star field. The red dwarf is only one ninth the size of the stars in the blue star solar system. The temperature is very low. Light intensity is also weak. The entire galaxy appears very dim. Red dwarfs also glow orange. Sika is just 15 million kilometers ahead. Crimson marked Sika star. For the sake of safety, the temple number two did not fly directly over Sika. Although Yibai is confident that the stealth mode of his battleship will not be discovered, but when he jumps out of the folding space, space distortion will appear. The energy fluctuations escaping from space distortion are likely to be discovered by higher civilizations. So he stopped at a great distance. Even if they notice the energy fluctuations in space, they may just think it is normal cosmic star activity. From this place, you can see the whole picture of the entire red dwarf galaxy. There are 11 moons orbiting the red dwarf, with Sika on the ninth. Judging from the data marked in red, Sika star is half the size of blue star. Go at full speed and stop 500,000 kilometers away from star Sika. After Yibai gave the order, Temple 2 began to advance at full speed in stealth mode. Soon, under the acceleration of the powerful plasma engine, the speed reached 1.2 million kilometers per hour again. Eight hours later, Temple 2 came to a place 500,000 kilometers away from star Sika. From here, everyone can already see Sika star. Sika has a thicker atmosphere than Blue Star and has a larger landmass. The poles are covered with more ice, and the environment looks colder. After all, this red dwarf is only one ninth the size of the sun, and the temperature is very low. This is Sika star? It looks much bigger than Blue Star and it has abundant fresh water resources and a larger land area, but the temperature seems to be lower and the weather is more severe. Everyone can see that there are many hurricane eyes in the atmosphere of Sika, more than twice as many as on Blue Star. In other words, the weather here often has low-pressure cyclone weather like typhoons. The living environment of the Sika people is not good, which can also explain why they want to destroy the Blue Star civilization, and they must want to occupy the Blue Star. Not only do they have bad weather, but with such a large size, their gravity should be stronger than that of Blue Star. It is precisely because their living environment is not good that they want to invade Blue Star. Speaking of this, everyone looked at the scientist in Ing Jiang and the team. They lowered their heads helplessly. Trump contacted Sika Star, which exposed Blue Star to such a huge danger. Without Yi Bai, the fate of Blue Star cannot be imagined. In the low Earth orbit of star Sika, there is no such defensive facility as the Great Wall of the Universe. Asking for flowers. But there are also some large space stations and human-inhabited spacecraft. Spaceships for humans to live in are very luxurious, protected by energy shields with mountains and water on them. It looks like a place where rich people live. The environment and gravity are more comfortable there. 
There are many space frigates around the spaceships inhabited by humans to protect them. Sika has two moons, one of which has also been transformed into a habitable place. The other satellite is the port where the space battleship docks. Zero. On the satellite is a port, there are large spaceships and battleships parked. Yibai even saw a battleship bigger than Temple 2. That should be Star Sika's flagship space battleship. Zoom their ports. Hearing Yibai's command, the visual virtual screen in front of the cab directly zoomed in on the image of the port. This is the application of the same technology as the Kuenpeng transport spacecraft. From the outside it looks like armor. But from the inside it is like seeing through. Able to follow Yi Bai's line of sight. Intelligently scale the environment. Seeing the flagship space battleship, Yi Bai opened Lubon's eye with a slight frown. Is it locked? Locking. Ding. The analysis is successful. The main ship of the flagship class battleship of the Siki universe, the flagship main ship of the primary universe, has a curvature engine, can perform space jumps, a super pulse engine, has 460 plasma cannons, and two super explosive shaped cannons. Cannon, a high energy laser defense weapon system, can be unlocked. After listening to the system analysis, Yi Bai's brows slowly relaxed, judging from the analysis of Lubon's eye. The weapon system of the Sika Star flagship space main ship is not as powerful as the Temple 2. And according to the data displayed by Crimson, the speed of the Ultra Pulse engine is much slower than that of the plasma engine. From this point of view, Star Sika has just stepped into the era of interstellar travel, thousands of years at most. But they were developed step by step by themselves, so the number of warships and the overall military level are very high. Under the leadership of Yibai, Blue Star has entered the interstellar era, and now military technology is developing very rapidly. However, the number of warships is still too small, and more ships need to be built in order to enter the 467 lines of space exploration. But Yibai is not worried. Looking at it now, they seem to be very careful. He didn't look like he wanted to go to the Blue Star again. It may be because they have just embarked on interstellar travel, so they are very cautious about Blue Star's ability to resist their meteorite shells. After all, the universe is vast, and no one knows where there is a super civilization that can easily destroy them. Yibai also has his own calculations in mind. As long as the Starbase Star Destroyer is completed, then the first target is the Card Star. No negotiation possible, no colonization. From the time they attacked Blue Star, Yibai couldn't leave this planet hostile to Blue Star. The other party wants to destroy human beings, so I naturally have no reason to keep them. Check. Yibai looked at the spaceship inhabited by humans again. There are green mountains and green waters on the spaceship, as well as hills. The environment is particularly good, and the location of the spacecraft is closer to the Red Dwarf than Sika, so the temperature is higher. The people above live very comfortably. Their looks are very close to ours. Yeah, it just seems like the skin is thicker and the eyes are bigger. After all, Red Dwarfs emit less than half the light of our sun, and they need larger pupils to receive enough light to see clearly. This is the same principle that a cat's pupils become round and larger when it is dark. Creatures must evolve in different directions according to their environment. Sika is colder and lacks sunlight. So their eyes are bigger and their skin is thicker. But the environment on the spaceship is much better, and these people seem to enjoy it very much. The entertainment items are similar to those of Blue Star. Check out Sika. The image in the control room pans to Sika, then zooms. Everyone immediately saw the situation on Sika. The levitation car is also used on Zika, but it is not a magnetic levitation, but a jet-driven levitation car. Marked red, using hydrogen energy. Hydrogen energy is also a very clean energy source, but it lags far behind maglev. Because of the greater gravity, people here are generally short in stature. But their physical strength is a little higher. Of course, Compared with the people of Yin Huang who had been injected with Longyuan Potion, they were still far behind. The buildings are all made of metal materials, mostly circular, which is stronger and larger. It can withstand typhoon weather very well. As predicted by Yi Bai et al., most of the planet is covered by rainwater. Generally speaking, planet Sika is also a planet of primates, and they are just like us? Yes, after all, 
the distance is only 45 light years, which is not far compared to the universe. But because of their different environments, their evolution is quite different from ours. Everyone is a scientist, and the knowledge reserve is rich enough. The characteristics of the Sika people are that the pupils of the eyes are larger, the stature is short, the skin is thick. Yibai roughly checked everything about Shikashing. Let's go back, back to the coordinates when we came back. Temple number two started immediately, turned and left at a high speed. Everyone was satisfied and set foot on the way back. All the scientific researchers are very happy. They have become the pioneers of human interstellar travel. The workers involved in the construction of Temple No. 2 were even more excited. They are just construction workers. To put it bluntly, if it wasn't for Yibai, they would never have the opportunity to set foot on such a space battleship and travel to other stars. Not to mention seeing other civilized planets. Opening the folding space again, Temple No. 2 rushed into it instantly. 0.1 once again experienced the fantastic journey of folding space. Two days later, Temple 2 returned to the sky above the moon. Look, they're back. I don't know where they went, but I also want to go and see. Hey, it's good that we are building a residence on the moon now, and we may all live here in the future. Haha, ha, that's right, don't worry about housing prices anymore, just build the ball well. It would be even better if academician ye could transform the moon to be like the earth. We will settle here in the future. Temple 2 slowly landed on the surface of the moon, and everyone was excited to enter the human habitation. These scientific researchers also need to continue to join the construction of human settlements on the moon. And Yibai needs to prepare for the construction of the star-based star destroyer first. When Iroer saw Yi by entering the human settlement, she immediately greeted her. How about it? This place has already begun to take shape. As if wanting to claim credit, Iroer walked to Yi Bai's side and said with a slight smile. Yi Bai looked around, very good. At this time, he and Iroer were in the main control room of the lunar human settlement. Here you can see the real-time situation of the residents and the operation data of various equipment. Ordinary people are not allowed to enter here. Only management personnel can be here. Currently, the whole city is Yinhuang people. Everything in the lunar settlement is controlled here, called the main area. The huge life support system in the Wanfeng space carrier was transplanted into the main area. Human settlements are protected by a massive proton energy shield. The proton energy shield assembly 22 is in the main zone. In the future, there will be more control areas when it expands. The controllable nuclear fusion energy device is in the energy room built by construction workers with cement concrete. There are also units dedicated to oxygen production, gravity generation, and synthetic water. These devices are all in the main area. It is uniformly controlled and detected by the instruments in the main control room. A series of pipes are connected from the water room to the human settlements outside. The places where humans live are called subzones. As for the places where human beings live, all the houses that are prefabricated on the Blue Star are temporarily used and then transported to the moon by the Kuenping Transport spacecraft. All are steel structures, which makes it easier to assemble. And the strength is enough. There is no problem at all as a preliminary residence. Of course, each country's housing is built by itself, so they are not exactly the same. The residential area of Yinhuang country is the most comfortable which also makes people from other countries like to visit the residential area of Yinhuang country when they are resting. There is not only a multimedia room, but also a quantum computer where you can play games and surf the internet. There is also a canteen, bathrooms, reading room, etc., all living areas. Other countries are relatively simple. Of course, foodie is also very luxurious. Their country spent huge sums of money to build it, in order to make all those who win glory for their country on the moon live comfortably. The subregions of 10 countries all extend outward from the main region. One is because of the protection of the proton energy shield, and the other is to rely on the water room to provide water resources, which is the most important. The Luanfeng Sky Mothership stops in the sky to protect human settlements at all times. Blue Star is not stagnant in the universe, but is constantly advancing. In this case, Many small meteorites will be encountered, and these small meteorites will basically be attracted by the gravitational force of the moon. 
Therefore, there are many craters on the moon, which is why the Wanfeng Sky Mothership needs to protect the moon. In the future, the moon also needs to build a great wall of space. Everything here is going on in an orderly manner. There are still about two months to complete the construction of the first phase of human settlements. Eroer looked at the busy crowd in the distance. The goal of the first phase is to accommodate one million people. I have to hurry up to complete the core construction of the Starbase Star Destroyer. As Ebai said, he turned and looked at Eroer and gave her a gentle hug. It's not too late, I'm going now. Eroer blushed slightly and nodded. Yibai summoned the Duernami armor, flew out of the human settlements, and came to the equator of the moon to observe. The diameter of the moon is 1,737 kilometers. It is composed of a moon core with a radius of 700 kilometers, a moon mantle with a radius of 1,000 kilometers, and a moon crust with a radius of 70 kilometers. The star-based star destroyer is built on the basis of the lunar core. He needs to use a super new cosmic alloy to wrap the lunar core and use the core as an energy reactor. Then build a star-based star destroyer on this super universe alloy. This requires opening up a large crater with a width of 10 kilometers on the equator of the moon. The pit will later be expanded to the entire equator by construction workers. That is, digging the moon in half. Expose the inner core. Human settlements were built on these two parts. Yibai frowned and thought for a while. It seems that we need to go back to Blue Star first to build some large-scale construction machinery. He turned around and flew directly to Jiangnan Spaceship Factory. The construction of these large-scale construction machinery requires other machinery factories in Yinhuang Kingdom to manufacture, and he will provide technical information. When building construction machinery, he has to develop super-universe alloys and core technical components. Star Destroyer absorbs lunar nuclear energy and converts it into super energy laser. The most important part is energy conversion equipment, energy absorption and storage equipment, and energy compression equipment. Chief Lu, I need to build a large number of large scale construction machinery, and Zingjixuan Star Cannon needs these equipment. Yi Bai contacted Lu Shogua. No problem, I will immediately start research and development in construction machinery factories across the country. I will develop 200 and pass the information to you. Then it can be faster. Lu Shogua naturally thinks that the R&D speed of Yi Bai alone can surpass the R&D speed of the whole country, even surpass the whole world. After making contact, Yi Bai directly entered his research room and began to develop large-scale engineering equipment. He already has a wealth of scientific research knowledge, and there is no problem in developing ordinary construction machinery. First of all, Large excavation machinery is required, as well as drilling machinery and material handling equipment. It took only half a month for Yibai to complete the research and development of all the large-scale construction machinery, and then pass the information to Lu Shogua. After research and development, he continued to build the core part of the Star Destroyer. During this period, the Jiangnan shipyard completed the construction of another Kuenpeng transport spacecraft. At the same time, they are still continuing to build the second temple number two, and named it the second floor of the Dragon Tomb. In the age of Star Trek, it is impossible to have only one battleship. Sika has a starport space battleship. Currently, there is only one blue star. Other countries in the world are also building their own space battleships, and Yin Huang Kingdom also provides key technologies. Two months later, Yibai was manufacturing the core components of the Star Destroyer, and Lu Shogua called him. Xiaoya, machinery construction factories all over the world are manufacturing the large-scale construction machinery you gave. So far, a total of 400 large-scale construction machinery of various types have been built. This is already the fastest speed of the factory, and the follow-up will continue to be manufactured. Anthracene, enough is enough. I will send the Kuin transport spacecraft to pick up these machines. Okay. A total of nearly 2,000 construction machines have been built. This is not enough. If you want to transform a planet, 2,000 machines are definitely not enough. If they want to complete the construction of the Starbase Star Destroyer in a short period of time, they need to invest a lot of manpower, material resources, and machinery. The super cosmic alloy that just made the Starbase Star Destroyer has produced a sample, and I'll send it to you in a while. Please let the chief make time to research and manufacture it.
This is the most basic material for building a star-based star destroyer. After all, Yi Bai's output is limited. He handed over the materials and samples to Lu Shogua and asked him to find a professional department to develop and manufacture so that mass production can be achieved. No problem, I'll wait for you. After the two hung up the phone, Yi Bai called Caillou again. How many Kuanping transport spacecraft are there in the factory now? Caillou immediately replied, there are three ships in total, and one is just in time to deliver supplies and materials to the lunar human settlements. Yi Bai nodded, let three Kuanping transport spacecraft go to various countries to load large construction machinery and transport them to the moon. Okay. Caillou hurried down to make arrangements. These large machines are very large and take up a lot of space, so the Kuanping transport spacecraft needs to be transported back and forth several times. At this time, Yi Bai's capsule phone rang, and it was Yu Honor who connected. Yi Roar's projection appeared in front of Yi Bai. Phase 1 completed, duh. Human settlements have now expanded to accommodate millions of people. And according to the preliminary plan, it extends toward the lunar equator. It is now possible to excavate the lunar equator within the range of activities of human habitation. Yi Bai smiled slightly. Thanks for your hard work. Yi Roar smiled and asked, Have you finished? Yibai looked at the core components of the Star Destroyer. It will take about a month. I will deliver the first batch of construction machinery first, and you will be responsible for receiving it. Iroar nodded. Okay. Yibai continued. Then construction workers from various countries will also go up. There are so many people. You need to make reasonable arrangements and coordination. There are millions of people at once, and there are still every country, which requires a lot of energy to coordinate. Don't worry, I've already contacted my dad, and they will send some more management talents over there. Although each nation had its own settlements, ten nations built them for them. But when the Lunar Starbase Star Destroyer is finally built, it must be managed together. Therefore, a large number of management and command talents are needed. Especially engineering. To complete it quickly requires a large number of managers to coordinate. This aspect is not difficult for Yin Huang Kingdom which is known as an infrastructure madman. Yi Bai smiled and said, That's good. I will go up after the core components are completed. Yi Roar nodded and said softly, Anthracene, take care of yourself. Yi Bai touched his head, You too. The two hung up the phone and unconsciously smiled. Yi Bai took samples and materials to Lu Shogua. The first batch of construction machinery was received by the Kuanping transport spacecraft and transported to the moon. It was first placed in the lunar human settlements, then began to transport people from various countries to participate in the construction. It's really a project that the whole world participates in. Yes, this is the greatest project in the history of Blue Star. It was developed by Academician Yi of Yin Huang Kingdom, my god, he is worthy of the name of a god. If the Starbase Star Destroyer is completed, our Blue Star will have a certain deterrent force which is very important for future interstellar navigation. That's right. This is the most important step in human history and the cornerstone of interstellar travel. The whole world is watching this transport of people. This represents the beginning of the first planetary terraforming project in human history. Planet Geo, this is a project that has never been imagined before. Now they are all already under construction. Lu Shogua looked at the Kuanping transport spacecraft going away in the sky and sighed, Xiaoya has created one history after another. Yi Mingjiai, that's right, he is already the pioneer and creator of history. Every research and development project of Yi by spans the era, so each one is of great historical significance. There are also Luanfeng Sky Mothership, Sanctuary 2, the Great Wall of the Universe, Lunar Human Settlements, Interstellar Star Destroyer, and other historical scientific research. Because of Yi Bai's continuous scientific research success, Zue Wang County has been specially designated as a special administrative region, merged a large number of surrounding counties and towns, conquer and vigorously develop, and strive to build Zue Wang County into a super first tier city like Hahai City, Yanjing, and Liangguang and the housing price of the villas in the community where Yi Bai is located has reached the highest in the country. Even in places like Haishu and Yinjing where every inch of land is expensive, 
The housing prices are far lower than the housing prices in this community. I don't know if it's in China anymore. Even rich people from abroad, even high-level national officials, want to buy real estate in this community. The developer gave you buy a villa for free at the beginning, but now they have received an incalculable report. This is Yi Bai's influence now. The first batch of people who built the Star Destroyer were all transported to the human settlements on the moon. There are now more than 1 million people living in the entire lunar settlement. It is divided into 10 major regions. It is managed by 10 countries that participated in the construction, but the control area in the center is managed by Iruer. In this large area, the settlements of 197 countries are divided. Although these countries did not participate in the construction, they also invested. After the first phase is completed, the construction of human settlements on the moon will be suspended. Waiting for the completion of the construction of the Starbase Star Destroyer, the second phase of the construction plan will be launched. Eroer immediately shifted from commanding the construction of human settlements to mobilizing personnel to start excavating and building the equatorial belt around the moon for the Starbase Star Destroyer. This is a huge project. With the continuous transportation of large construction machinery to the moon, millions of people are all waiting for the dispatch of the on-site commanders of Yenhuang Kingdom. Eroer held the first meeting on the construction plan of the Starbase Star Destroyer. Representatives from all 197 countries and their respective construction chief engineers came to the main area of Yinhuang Kingdom located in the center of the Lunar Human Settlement. Meeting Room Eroer and the Yinhuang Kingdom scientific research team are sitting here. On the first floor are 10 countries that participated in the construction of human settlements. Representatives of other countries all sit on the second floor. At the same time, leaders of various countries watched online. Yibai also found time to watch Iruer host the meeting online. The first phase of the lunar human settlement has been completed, and the construction of the Star Destroyer is about to start now. The purpose of this meeting is to discuss how to quickly construct the program. Iroer's tone was flat, but very clear. Everyone can say whatever you think. All the people present looked at me, and I looked at you, but they didn't speak. In terms of infrastructure, no one can compare with Yinhuang. 713. And all the projects are controlled by Yinhuang Kingdom, so they didn't want to put forward any opinions, and they didn't have any good opinions. Seeing that no one spoke, Iroer nodded to the people beside her. Simolianchi, chief engineer of the National Construction Bureau, pushed his glasses on the bridge of his nose and said, since you all don't have any ideas, let's talk about the preliminary plan. You can refer to Rixia. Our plan is that our Yinhuang country will assign daily tasks to the 10 countries participating in the construction of human settlements on the moon. Then people from these 10 countries will coordinate construction workers from other countries to carry out specific construction. This is the general construction plan for each day, and they have to report to their superiors every morning so that they can better control the construction progress. Regarding the construction quality, I don't need to talk about it. This is a project that concerns everyone. So I hope everyone can grasp the quality. Sima Lianchi glanced at Asan's representative not far away. Among these countries, only Asan's construction is the most troublesome. Both progress and quality. It's not that they, Kai, are messing around, but that their technological capabilities are really too weak. And very thoughtful. Don't worry, we all understand this. As long as it is academician Ye's plan, we will do our best. John Mu was the first to state that Fudi is now completely Yi Bai's fanboy. You can rest assured of the place where Ng Jiang is in charge. Joseph is in charge of the Moon Project, and Inlees doesn't trust Michael. Other countries have followed suit. Sima Lianchi nodded and continued. Based on the experience of living in the Great Wall of the Universe, we decided to build the star-killing cannon annular crater on the entire lunar equator in sections. That is to say, led by 10 of our countries, we will lead personnel from other countries to dig out 10 circular pits with a diameter of 10 kilometers on the lunar equator. Because we need Academician Yi to wrap the core with a super-universe alloy before construction. Because only Yi Bai has the Duernami armor and can construct in the moon core. So they only need to dig to the predetermined depth. Of course, by the time they can dig deep, the blue star should have started producing super alloys in large numbers. Everyone nodded silently. 
When these 10 round pits are all completed, we need to divide two parts of the construction team from 10 countries, and under the mechanical protection of the life support system device, they will dig in two directions at the same time. Yin Huang Kingdom was able to build the world's longest highway and the most kilometers of high-speed rail through mountains and seas, thanks to this method. In this way, the construction plan is equivalent to having 20 sections under construction at the same time. The efficiency is more than 20 times higher than that of a pit construction. Everyone nodded after hearing this. This plan is indeed very good. Apart from national representatives, those who can sit here are the chief engineers of construction in various countries. They know a lot about construction. This is undoubtedly the best solution. Representative Asan raised a question. The more holes are opened, the more efficient the digging will be. Why don't we dig more holes? The chief engineers of other countries looked at him helplessly upon hearing this. Sima Lianchi smiled and said, First of all, it is a management problem. If construction is not managed, then the construction arrangements and plans will inevitably be chaotic, which will slow down the speed. The second is the equipment problem. The current equipment is too small to ensure that a construction site has been completed. Is the limit. Furthermore, I think you probably haven't read the specific drawings of the Starbase Star Destroyer. Why do you need to dig a construction hole of 10 kilometers? Because the diameter of the Star Destroyer is 9 kilometers high. At the same time, its internal equipment is also huge. Under the premise of digging such a large construction hole, it will take a lot of time and manpower. Our top priority is to dig through the equatorial ring of the moon, so that academician ye can wrap the lunar core so that we can proceed to the next stage of construction? After Asan listened, she nodded half understanding. and she continued to explain. Although the equatorial ring of the moon has to be completely dug through in the end, the first step is to wrap the lunar core first, so that after Academician Yi completes the lunar core wrapping, the Star Destroyer and the Star Destroyer can be built at the same time. Dig through the equatorial ring. At that time, if there are enough construction machines, there can be more construction sites. Yi Bai admired Sima Lianchi's construction plan very much. As expected of the chief infrastructure engineer of Yin Huang Kingdom, he has considered all aspects very well. Scheduled arrangements end and no one makes sense. Now that the construction plan has been decided, let the chief engineers of all countries go with me to discuss the construction drawings and the construction plan for the first stage. After finishing speaking, Sima Lianchi and Iruer, including Ibai, nodded, and then took construction engineers from various countries to the special star-based Star Destroyer Construction Management Department to discuss specific matters. For the first plan, they will go to each construction site to start construction. At that time, they can only report the construction status in real time through online meetings every day. Eroer glanced at the remaining representatives and said, Go back and mobilize and start construction immediately after the discussions between the engineers are over. The representatives of each country nodded, and then returned to their respective residential areas to start mobilization. Yibai looked at Iroer and said with a smile, It's amazing. I can't control so many people. Iroer rolled her eyes at him delicately. I'm trying to drive ducks to the shelves. If you want to do scientific research, I have to be responsible here. Yibai smiled slightly and nodded. My side is almost ready. Wait for me. Super Cosmic Alloy has already started mass production, and enough 200,000 tons will be transported to the moon construction base by the Kuenpeng Transport spacecraft. Yibai listened to Lu Shogwa's words and nodded. My side is almost finished, but the excavation progress on the moon is relatively slow. This is a long-term project. Digging through a planet, even with a million people and a large number of construction machinery, cannot be completed in a short period of time. During this period, Jiangnan spacecraft will continue to build space battleships. Anthracene, super universe alloys are all prefabricated according to your requirements and can be assembled directly. Okay. After hanging up the phone, Yibai fell into deep thought. Once the super universe alloy is put into production, according to the world's production capacity, it will be very fast. But the construction holes on the moon will definitely not keep up with the progress. Thinking of this, he called the rower, rower. How is the construction progress now? Currently 10 construction sites are under construction because the construction machinery is constantly increasing 
and the efficiency is getting faster and faster now, but it is expected to be at least three months before digging to the designated location. Three months, which is already fast. Millions of people plus three months of nonstop digging, the actual working time, if counted on Blue Star, is equivalent to more than six months of construction. Ten construction sites, each with more than 100,000 people digging for more than half a year. Yibai asked, how will the excavated soil be treated temporarily? Engineer Sima is very experienced, because there are many craters on the moon, and the excavated soil is used to fill the craters, but the number of Kuenpeng transport ships is insufficient at present, and the Saturn we dig out every day is very large. And there will definitely be more just to fill the crater. So I plan to build a brick-burning factory for the reconstruction of the later residential area. Bricks are needed. If there are many, they may be used to build mountains. Yibai nodded when he heard the words, it is indeed more reasonable to use it like this. Otherwise, all the excavated soil will be piled up on both sides of the equatorial ring. When the planetary atmosphere transformation device can be unlocked, the moon will be transformed into a living planet and plants will be able to grow. Okay, the core components on my side have been completed and I will send them to the moon to find you. Anthracene. Yibai hung up the phone and called a Kuenping transport spacecraft. He put on the Duernami armor and carried the core components of the Star Destroyer onto the transport ship one by one. This is just the core driver components. The real core of the whole module is very day. The basic barrel length of the Starbase Star Destroyer has reached 500 kilometers. That is to say, at least half of the depth of the mantle needs to be penetrated. This cannon is unimaginably huge, and it is all made of super universe alloy. If you want to talk about the cost, it is completely incalculable. This is built with the strength of all blue stars. It's the same as when Yin Huang and the whole country worked hard to create poached eggs, just to protect themselves. The diameter of the muzzle reaches 10 kilometers. Yi Bai manufactured the core of energy conversion devices, energy compression, and other devices. Others still need a lot of manpower to build. Yi Bai drove the Kuenping transport spacecraft to the moon. He came to the Yin Huang construction site, and he rower was here. After the Kuenping transport spacecraft was lowered, someone immediately began to use machinery to transport the huge devices inside. Yi Bai walked towards Yi rower. Thank you for your hard work. Yi rower shook her head. These days she was directing the work on the moon, and also personally observed at the construction site. It was really hard work. How far have you dug now? Yi Bai and Yi Rower walked to the point where Yin Huang Kingdom was in charge. Currently, we have dug 170 kilometers deep, and it will take three months to dig to a depth of 500 kilometers. The two stood on the edge of the huge circular pit. The pothole with a diameter of 10 kilometers can hardly be seen at a glance. Looking down, tens of thousands of people are driving machinery construction underground. Almost no people can be seen and smart can vaguely see large-scale construction machinery. There is also a huge transportation machine on the edge of the round pit, which continuously transports the soil up from the ground. Once the world fought over a little lunar soil. At the beginning, Ying Jiang only gave Yan Wangguo one gram. Now take it all and throw it aside. Yi Bai nodded. The progress is already very fast. Asking for flowers. After digging to 500 kilometers, 10 construction points can be excavated at two ends. Guess what we found when we dug down? Iroa suddenly looked at Yibai and said mysteriously. Yibai smiled and shook his head. Iroa took him by the hand and went to the temporary residence at the construction site. Come with me. Soon the two came to a room. As soon as you enter, the lights automatically turn on. Yibai looked at the things in the supplies, a little surprised. He walked to a table and frowned slightly. Is this a biological specimen? Eroer nodded. That's right. Single-celled organisms. They were found in the underground ice layer of the moon. Yi Bai was surprised. On the moon? Underground ice? There is ice waiting to turn into water. That's right. Eroer walked to a specimen, picked it up and said, I sent the specimen back for a carbon test and found that it is a creature of the same era as the dinosaur century on our blue star. Yibai picked up the specimen in astonishment. This means that there were originally living things on the moon. 
Irua explained with a smile. The scientists on the Blue Star are crazy, you know? They speculate that the moon is the same as the dinosaur century on the Blue Star. Blue Star is different. Because of gravity, environment, and other factors. But in the era when the dinosaurs went extinct, that is, during the Cretaceous period, the life on the moon also became extinct. Yibai nodded subconsciously. It should be because of the meteorite. Eroer is not surprised that Yibai can figure it out. After all, he has developed such a high-tech person. That's right. During the Cretaceous period, not only a meteorite hit the blue star, causing the mass extinction of species, the moon has always been used to protect the blue star, so they attracted more meteorites. The meteorite swarm directly caused the planet that had just developed single-celled organisms to directly exterminate all life. It even destroyed the moon, and it finally became what it is now after 65 million years of changes. After hearing E. Rohr's explanation, Yibai probably also guessed this in his heart. Unexpectedly, the moon also gave birth to life before. Mouth. More than two months later, on the equator of the moon, the potholes at 10 construction sites were all completed. The construction workers immediately started excavating to both ends. During this period, large-scale construction machinery will be continuously transported from the ground to the moon every day. This also makes the construction speed faster and faster. And the super-universe alloy is also being transported continuously. The plan for the second part of the lunar residence can start, and the ground will be notified to continue sending new construction personnel. Yibai discussed with Eroer. Eroer nodded. Okay, it can indeed be carried out, let more people come up, and the excavation of the Star Destroyer in the later stage will require more manpower. After the inner lunar equatorial ring is dug through, it will be hollowed out from the ground as a whole, as a turning track for the Star Destroyer. Such a huge project volume of 760 is no longer comparable to 10 construction sites with a diameter of 10 kilometers. Make a circle around the moon's equator, then hollow out. So the construction machinery must keep up with the excavation machinery in the later stage, including the supply of various materials. The two discuss the next construction plan. This is the largest technology project Yi Bai has ever built. In the future, perhaps only after the atmospheric modification device is developed, it can be compared with it. On the ground, the whole world once again mobilized manpower and set off for the Jiang'an spaceship factory. This time, 200,000 people will be transported, and the human settlement on the moon will be expanded to accommodate 5 million people. And it will continue to expand, and then transport 3 million construction workers up again. Eroa nodded and said, I hope to try to dig out the orbit of the Star Destroyer cannon before the Chinese New Year. Before you know it, it's almost New Year's Eve. Yibai didn't even remember the time. He was slightly taken aback when he heard the words, then smiled and said, this year I will go to your house to celebrate the new year. According to the customs of Yi Bai's hometown, if the relationship is confirmed, they need to go to the woman's home to celebrate the new year in the first year. This is equivalent to saying that he wants to marry Ear as his wife. Eroer was stunned. The two had been together for more than half a year. But get together less and leave more. But the relationship between the two is very firm, because they are both obsessed with scientific research. This is a tacit understanding. Both of them are working, but they both care about each other in their hearts. I may not be able to go back this year. Eroa lowered her head. Yibai understands that the things here are not over, and he must not leave here and go back. I will make it up to you in the future. Saying that, Yibai kissed Eroa's forehead. More than a month later, the Yinhuang country construction site has been drilled, and the depth is only 10 kilometers from the nuclear site. This depth is already very dangerous. Only Yi Bai wearing Duernami armor will be safer. So they stop the construction, and then Yi Bai will enter the lunar core and install the energy harvesting device. Yi Bai came to the excavated lunar core, directly used the Duer nano armor to transform into a drilling device, and then drilled into the lunar core. As time went by, suddenly, the rock formation in front of Yi Bai's eyes suddenly collapsed. A wave of scorching air rushed towards him in an instant. A powerful airflow suddenly hit him. But wearing the Duernami armor doesn't have any effect. And the battle armor automatically adjusts its body shape, 
and all the propellers on the back are turned on to resist the sudden rushing airflow. The lunar core of the moon is a very stable semi-molten state. That is, between liquid and solid. Its temperature is 1,000 to 1,500 degrees. Compared to the hundreds of millions of degrees of the sun, it can only be regarded as cold here. And it has no effect on the Dewar nano armor that uses liquid nanotechnology. Yibai looked at the moon core. The orange-red moon core is like a red-hot coal fire, but the color is very dark. Features are the same as red dwarfs. The darker the color, the lower the temperature. He immediately fixed the super-cosmic alloy held in both hands on the surface of the lunar core, and then flew back to the lunar residence to get the equipment and start installation. In this way, every pothole requires him to personally install energy extraction devices and alloy walls. When he installed all 10 energy-absorbing channels, there are still a few days before the Chinese New Year. This day is of great significance to Yinhuang Kingdom. It's two days after tomorrow, and everyone can use the Kuenping Transport spacecraft to go back for a new year. Yibai informs through public command channel and everyone. Sima Lianchi shook his head. For us, there are no festivals and holidays. For Blue Star, we have to continue construction. Yes. We are not going back. We are needed here. This is Blue Star's trump card. We must complete him as soon as possible. That's right, Academician Yi. Go back. This year is very important to you. Everyone has seen Yi Bai, and he rower, and knows their relationship. I also know that according to the custom, Bai will go to Ear's house to meet her parents today. Yi Bai glanced at he rower beside him, shook his head, and said with a smile, National affairs are more important. In this case, let's work together. I'm with you. The Yin Huang kingdom became powerful by relying on these talents. They don't have holidays, and no one even knows their names. But it is their silent and continuous efforts that allowed Yin Huang kingdom to develop rapidly. Only in this way can the tens of thousands of people in the Yin Huang kingdom be happy and celebrate the new year safely and securely. Everyone said a few words of blessing in the public channel and then continued to work. Yi Bai turned off the public channel and said to Iruer, your parents are nothing. Iruer pulled her hair back. Of course, they all understand. Yi Bai stroked her hair with a smile. That's good. Although everyone can't go back to celebrate the new year, everyone who works here must have a rich 4.8 reunion dinner. I will take the Kuenping transport spacecraft to carry bring back some supplies. Iruer nodded obediently. When they came to the ground, Lu Shogua had been waiting there early. All the supplies are ready for you. Comrades have worked hard. Yibai laughed. Work for the country. The hatches of the three Kuenping transport spacecraft were all opened, and people began to carry supplies on them. Originally, in order to ensure the diet of millions of people, the materials that were transported from Blue Star every day were relatively easy to store. This time it's all meat and fresh greens and everything more festive. Although the Spring Festival is not celebrated in other countries outside the Yin Huang Kingdom, a New Year's Eve dinner is prepared for them all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe.